In this last video on responsive web layouts, I'd like to start by showing you a very cool Chrome Inspector tool that helps us to work on responsive design. It's right here at the top left-hand corner, and if you just click this Toggle Device Toolbar, you'll see up top what I have is, and I have a, a pull tab here, I'm able to see what my website would look like at different screen widths. So the screen widths are named here and I'm going to scroll down to look at my bottom two columns and I guess what I could say is here at 800 it looks fine but wow once we get down here and this starts to stack these three words um, it's just not great it's not ideal I don't like the way it looks so what I'd like to say is, let's see, where does it start looking bad? Right around here. I'm going to say if it gets less than 700, I would like these two columns to become one column. So that's actually not a very hard thing to do. And there's one new tag. We're going to go to our CSS here. And I've got all these rules, right? All these rules set up. So I'm going to create a little if-then rule, and I'm going to put it down here under the footer. This kind of rule is called a media query. And I'm going to put a little notation here. I'll put my media queries down here. What I want to say is that the main, which is 60%, this one here, and the aside, which is 40%. I've got them both at float left, and I've got them both at 60% and 40%. So what I'm going to say in this new media query is to take that float off. At media screen and max width 700 px. That is my media query rule and I'll put in curly brackets like I'm used to doing is I'm creating an if-then statement and my if is if the screen on the device that's looking at my website is 700 or less then this will happen. So within these two curly brackets, I'm going to create another CSS rule. And it's going to affect the div called main and the div called aside. And here's the new rule. So you can see I've got curly brackets top and bottom here that are hanging on to this rule. And inside of it, I'm creating another rule. So it's like a rule within a rule. So if that happens, I want the float to be none. Let's save and refresh. So you can see up here it's a thousand and as I get smaller watch what happens when I get to 700. Blah. So now I'm thinking though what about all this white space how do I deal with that? Well up here in my main and aside I've got width 60 width 40 so I'm going to do add another if then to this float main and aside I'll say width 100 percent save and refresh there we go so over 700 it's got two columns under 700 it's got one that works out pretty well